Hello everyone and welcome in today's video. I'm going to share my favorite tips in Divi that helps me work really fast. So before I begin, I'd also like to remind you that if you buy Divi using my affiliate link, I will give you access to my web design formula course, a course that teaches you how to design professional looking websites from scratch. All you have to do is to buy Divi using my affiliate link. And then once you've done that, you can head over to funnels to income dot com on the bottom right you're going to see a chat bubble just leave your receipt and i will give you access to the course so all right let's dive in and let me show you my favorite tips on how to work fast in divi all right so the very first one here is to the duplicate feature now let me show you how that works okay so let's say you're designing your web pages and you've created a landing page and it took you so long very long time for you to design that page now let's say you want to create a similar landing page using Divi. Of course, you'll have to design all this from scratch. So let me show you quickly how you can work faster doing that. So if I come over here and click on add new, and let's say I need to create a, uh, a brand new page, which has uh, similar things that I need to a page that I've already created. Let's just call this landing. So I'm going to click on use Divi builder. So I don't know if you've noticed this, but of course, um, this feature, even I don't, <laughs> I don't use it a lot. And this is the clone existing. So this clone existing uh, allows you to go into your uh, website pages and then choose a page that you've already designed. So if I come over here and click on choose page, this is going to give me access to all the pages on my website. So here, let's say I need to go and use my cooking page. So I'm going to go ahead and select that. Uh, once it finishes loading, it's going to load all the elements that I need. And here we go. It has everything that we need. So now let's say this is a page for something else, but of course it's going to be similar to this. I can now go in quickly and start changing everything that I need to change here. So let's say I need to change this image. I can go in and change this image to, let's say this one right here, upload an image. And now you can see my image has been added. Save that. And now I can go into this text and also customize it to the page that I'm working on. So here I can go again and uh, let's change this image to a totally different one. And this time, let's go with this one right here. Click upload. So you can see here I've changed my images and save. Now this one here, I've named it landing. So now I can publish it. So in a moment, I'm going to show you the two pages side by side, but I'm sure you can say, you can appreciate that this would have saved me. This has saved me a lot of time because otherwise I would have gone in, created this row, created the sections, added my padding, done all of that. But just by using this quick technique, I was able to go in and do this. All right. So I'm going to save this and exit the visual builder. And then I'm also going to go in and show you the cooking page, how it looked like. So now that I've exited the visual builder, this is our new page. And if I go back to my site here, let's take a look at uh, what we had. So I'm going to go to pages, all pages. So the page that I cloned was this cooking course. So I'm going to click here on view and here we go. So this is the one that I had. I cloned it to create this one. Easy. And uh, like I said, you can also go in and change this uh, background color over here to match whatever it is, is on your page. All right. So that's tip number one. Uh, let's go back over here to our dashboard. And this time it's going to be all in the Divi Builder. So I'm just going to create a brand new page here. Right. So I'm just going to call this tips so I can show you all my favorite tips. OK, so if I click here on use Divi Builder, it's going to take us to uh, those three, those three pages that uh, allow us to uh, start working on our site. Now, my second feature, similar to what I've done here with cloning existing page, is choosing a pre-made layout. So the pre-made layouts here allow me to create pages or page layouts very, very fast. So here I can just scroll through all these and just take a look at a layout that I think looks great. So let's say, for example, I wanna go with this one here. If I click use this layout, it's going to import this layout. Now, the reason why I really like this is because it comes in with all the settings of this page. So I don't need to go in and start adjusting things for mobile devices or tablets or any of that or spacing. This, these uh, layouts are well designed and this can be a very good starting point for designing your pages on your website. So this is the reason why I really, really like uh, the pre-made layouts. Okay, so now that it's loaded, this is time now to go in and start working on customizing this layout. Okay, so here, you can see here we have this background here. Uh, I can go in and change that. 
So uh, I'm going to go over here to the background. Let's say my website is to do with food. I'm going to choose my image, click upload. And you can see here very fast, I'm going in and I'm making changes to this really, really fast. Now I'm going to go into my text. And in my text here, I'm going to go to heading one because that's where we have the styling. So heading text color, I'm going to change that. Maybe I'll go with white. Save that. Now this search, perhaps we don't even need that. I can just delete this. And now this is my main hero area. So as you can see, this looks really nice. And just by a few clicks, I've gone in and I've changed the images and therefore changing the context of the page. So if I scroll down here, I can go in and I can change this text. I can add background colors. In fact, this image here, let's say I need to get rid of it and add my own image. I can always go in here, choose another background image here for my design. So let's see what I'm going to use this time. Let's go with this one upload image and now you can see I have my image in here. Now the beauty of this is you can also go in and customize um, the colors. So let's say I really want to uh, make this image a bit dark. I can go in here and let's add black as our background color and then on the image here we're going to go to the image blend and let's go with multiply and then back over here now I can go in and just add a bit of transparency and now you can see a little bit of that image. Okay, so we're not done yet here. We can just go in now to our text here and change the color by coming over here to design, heading text. And I know this is heading two. Now, if you're not sure if it's heading two or not, you can just click here on this uh, pencil icon and this will direct you to heading two. All I have to do now is to change my color. And just like that, I've quickly gone in and updated my layout. So as you can see, this is very, very easy to do. And uh, this is a really easy way of going in and customizing your uh, pre-made layouts. All right, so let's move on to my next tip. And this tip here is important if you're creating landing pages for your products or your services. Now, landing pages have something very unique across board, and that is they don't have headers and footers. So if you want to get rid of your headers and footers, you can do it very easy by coming over here to... In fact, let's first of all click here on edit page because um, on this particular page, we need to get rid of this header and also the footer right at the bottom. So once we are back over here, what we need to do is to head over to our page settings. I mean, our page attributes. By default, we have the, uh, the default template. So to change this, you just need to go to blank, click update, and pretty much you've uh, updated your uh, page. So now if I need to view this, uh, this page, I can just click here or to view page. And this time it won't have my header and footer because I've changed the templates to blank. So there we go. No headers and no footers. Okay. So that's another quick tip if you want to create landing pages for your products or your services. Uh, because the reason why you want to do that is because you don't want to distract people by giving them more options to click on, uh, on the top there. All right, so let's move on to our next feature. And uh, our next feature, I mean, it has to do with the theme builder. So I'm just going to go back to my dashboard here and uh, head over to Divi, click on theme builder. Now, the reason why the Divi theme builder here is really powerful is because you can make a change here and the change that you make gets applied across your whole website. Now, this is really, really powerful. Now, I want to show you something quickly here. You notice that we have a specific font here and this is Poppins, right? Now, this font here and all this is being controlled by my page template. Okay, so here I can delete the global header. I can delete the global footer. So when I delete this, that means my website is going to totally change and uh, we're not going to have uh, all the uh, custom designs that I might have created over here in the beginning. So here you can see we also have a 404 page. So let's say I go to a page that doesn't exist on our website here. I'm going to hit enter. You are going to notice that uh, we have a custom error page here, which has an animation. It also has a button that automatically takes us to our home page. So if I do that, this is going to take me back to our home page, right? But here's the thing. If I come over here and I delete this, and in fact, I can just delete the whole thing and save changes. Now, if I do what I did a moment ago, and that is to, uh, to go in and just add a bit of uh, gibberish there because that page does not exist. You're going to notice that across the whole website, we're going to have this default no results 
found. And I'm sure you can agree with me, this doesn't really look nice. Uh, it would be better if we had a template built which has the layout that shows us how the page looks like. And this page builder or this uh, theme builder shows us exactly how to go in and customize all these pages. And also, I mean, I could say a lot about the theme builder here. If you have, let's say, for example, LearnDash installed or WooCommerce installed, installed, if you click here on this plus button, you're going to see all those items included here. So if we take a look here, we can do archive pages, we can do blog posts, and we can do WooCommerce pages. Now look, we also have a shop, cart, checkout, and uh, my account page. So this is fantastic because you can have pretty much all your courses, all your uh, WooCommerce pages, blog posts, designed the way you want and all these are being controlled by one particular page which is this theme builder and you can build everything on here and also the the beauty of this is you can also export it and save all this content now i've created some uh, templates uh, one of them is called a uh, genesis it gives you the header and footer in fact it's this one right here that i'm messing around with and the other one is blogger pro so the blogger pro uh, customizes the whole layout of uh, your website and uh, once you install this uh, template, it just changes your whole website and transforms it into a beautiful looking blogging website. So this is the power of the theme builder. All right, so let's move on to the next feature. And the next feature that I really like about the DV theme builder is the role editor. So over here on the role editor, I can specify the type of uh, people on my website to access certain parts of my website. So for example, let's say administrator, obviously you wanna have access to everything. So you can see everything over here is enabled. But let's say I have an editor on my website and I would like, to, I would like them to manage my site. Ideally, I don't want, I don't want them ha to have access to everything. So for example, DV library, they don't need access to DV library. So I can go in here and disable all these features because I just want them to go in and add content on my site and that's it. So all that can be controlled over here. So split testing, I don't want them to have access to split testing, uh, page options, portability. So by disabling all this, you're just making sure your website is safe and you don't have to worry about uh, your editor going in and uh, breaking anything on your website or changing colors or trying to change the design. Now, the same applies over here to the shop manager. Let's say you have a shop manager, they're controlling all your stock or adding and removing products on your website. Again, if you disable the library, the split testing, page options, portability, um, even here on the DV interface, you can go deeper and remove or disable all these items here, okay? So once you disable all these, then they won't have access to change, uh, like for example, I like this one here, edit colors. So if you remove the colors, they're not going to go in and change colors on your website. So this feature here is powerful and this can be applied to uh, the author, the contributor, uh, the editor, and so on. So this feature here is also really, really, really powerful. And I love the fact that you can go in and make changes to all these items here. Okay, so pretty much these are my main features that I really like uh, with Divi. It gives me a lot of control and I use this on a uh, pretty much on a daily basis. Uh, I go in there and I make sure all my settings are right. Now, before I forget, I'd like to remind you that if you buy Divi using my affiliate link, I will give you access to my web design formula course, a course that teaches you how to design professional looking websites with Divi. All you have to do is to buy it using my affiliate link in the video description below. Head over to funnels2income.com and then on the bottom right, if you click the chat bubble on the bottom right just send me your receipt number or a copy of your receipt and then i'll give you access to the course all right guys thank you very much for watching and i'll see you again in the next video don't forget to hit the subscribe and bell notification all right guys see you later check out